The general dismounted and he knelt in the snow that winter in Valley Forge was bitterly cold. General Washington assumed he was alone, so he started to pray. But a man passing by stood off in the woods to listen not far away. That man was not a fan of Washington until that day. He was a British sympathizer, that's until he heard the general pray. Lord, the patriots are cold and hungry, and we cannot take much more. We have nowhere else to go except to you to win this war. We have nowhere else to go but to you, Lord. When the odds are stacked so high against us as they were at Valley Forge. Yes, God hears our prayers and he really cares and he can really turn the tide. When there's nowhere else to go, just thank the Lord, he's on our side. That man who heard the general turn his steps toward home that day. He told his wife, we're switching sides. I've heard the general pray. Liberty is right and we'll win this fight. For God is on our side. He hears our prayers and he really cares. And he can turn the tide. When we have nowhere else to go but to you, Lord. When the odds are stacked so high against us as they were at Valley Forge. Yes, God hears our prayers and he really cares and he can turn the tide. When there's nowhere else to go, just thank the Lord, he's on our side. When there's nowhere else to go, just thank the Lord, he's on our side. When there's nowhere else to go. This is Pastor Brad Winnegar coming to you today in this episode of From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And you know the occasion of which I have written and now sung for the very first time for you this gospel song, the Valley Forge song, or Nowhere Else to Go. When your back's against the wall, when the odds are stacked up against you, like there were at Valley Forge, you can go to God. That's where we, we go and praise the Lord for that, uh, that prayer that he prayed that day, kneeling in the snow. It was around Christmas time. It was the winter of 1777-78. And uh, we don't know exactly all the details, but some years later, it was told and retold by the man himself, uh, uh, Mr. Isaac Potts. I believe he was a, a Quaker. I think he was a farmer. And he had been a Tory. He was a British sympathizer and uh, thought that it was ungodly to fight until he, he heard General Washington kneel and pray, and General Washington didn't know that he was there. But Isaac Potts went home to his wife and said, we're switching sides. He said, if ever there was a man who was a soldier and a Christian, it's General Washington, and I know they're going to win. And so he switched sides and, and became actually a politician, I understand, but praise the Lord for the message of that song. I want you to know that we have nowhere else to go. It was Peter in the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John, verse 68, who answered the Lord and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Wherever we resort, wherever we go, we better make sure they've got the goods. And then verse 69, And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of of the living God. We better make sure that we're trusting in the one and only one in whom 
we can have eternal life. That's Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you when uh, we're facing difficulties, we have you. And when impossible odds are stacked against us, we have you and you even the score and level the playing field. Thank you so much for this. Today, this message from the events uh, that we've sung about, thank you for General George Washington who was a true believer in Jesus Christ and a great example as the father and founding president of the United States. I pray that you'll bless everyone today as they've listened in. And I pray now for those that might not be saved. If you're not saved, right now let me interrupt my prayer and just ask you to join me. Pray from your heart to God, something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? Let us know, won't you? We'd like to help you. And uh, God bless you soul winners out there. Keep after it. This is a wonderful opportunity to win people to Jesus Christ here and now. And I'm praying now for the rest. Lord, I pray for the hurting. I pray for the needy, the, the sick, the dying, the bereaved. Help each one, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. When we have nowhere else. When we have nowhere else to go but to you, Lord. When the odds are stacked so high against us as they were at Valley Forge. Yes, God hears our prayers and He really cares and He can turn the tide. When there's nowhere else to go, just thank the Lord, He's on our side. When there's nowhere else to go, just thank the Lord, He's on our side. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.